Welcome everybody. So happy you could join us today for our story time. Today we're going to do our story time all about oceans and ocean creatures and other animals that live in the sea. So let's get started. Hello everyone and how are you? Hello everyone and how are you? Hello everyone and how are you? How are you today? All right, and we're going to start with a song about a very special creature that lives in the sea. On Orca Whale. Oh, the tails are wh the whale, and we're going to sing a song about Orca Whales in the ocean. And our Orca Whales go up and down like this, and our little sea scallops open and close their mouths, and our sea otter, he goes like this. All ready? An Orca Whale, an Orca Whale, baby sea scallops and an orca whale, an orca whale, an orca whale, baby sea scallops and an orca whale, sea otter, sea otter, baby sea scallops and an orca whale, sea otter, sea otter, baby sea scallops and an orca whale. And you can do that song with other animals that you see at the beach as well. You could do it maybe with a great sea gull and maybe a little brown crabs crawling around. Let's try that. Ready? A great sea gull, a great sea gull, little brown crabs and a great sea gull, a great sea gull, a great sea gull, little brown crabs and a great sea gull, sea otter. And a great sea gull, sea otter, sea otter, little brown crabs, and a great sea gull. And you can use other animals too if you want to. Wonder what kind of animals you'll pick to do. All right, and now we're going to read a little story about one of those animals we just sang about the crab. This is a very special crab. This is a hermit crab that lives in a shell. And this is A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Cara. And it's published by Simon & Schuster. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, hermit crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell, strong and strong. He moved right in wiggling and waggling around inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so well plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you, one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. So now he's got a sea star and a sea anemone on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. 
in June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over the rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. So now he's got a snail, a sea star, a sea anemone, and a piece of coral on his house. Let's see what else he finds. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. So we've got the sea urchin, we've got the snail, the sea star, the sea anemone, and the coral all on his house. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like a nightmare, cried the sea urchin. Oh, I wonder what they're going to see inside it. Oh, look, in September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. So we've got the lanternfish keeping it bright, and we've got the spiky sea, uh, sea urchin, and the sea anemone, and a snail, and a coral, and a starfish, all sorts of friends that he's made. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw, and built a, a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit tight, a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have a grown, I have a grown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have a grown my house too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell it looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there were so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. The end. And off Hermit Crab goes to find more friends for his new house. Well, let's sing a little song about some crabs. These are little sea crabs like hermit crabs and they're crawling around, ready? Crabs are crawling, crabs are crawling on the rocks. Watch out for their pinchers. Snip, snip, snip. So let's try that one. Let's try it with a bit of a song maybe. Crabs are crawling, crabs are crawling on the rocks, on the rocks. Watch out for their pinchers, watch out for their pinchers. Snip, snip, snip. 
pinches are the way the crabs defend themselves from anybody else. So sometimes crabs do pinch, but they're just trying to keep themselves safe in their homes. Want to try that song again? Ready? Crabs are crawling, crabs are crawling on the rocks, on the rocks. Watch out for their pinchers, watch out for their pinchers. Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> and we'll do one more song, and this one will be about a little fish. And this is Slippery Fish. And slippery Fish slides through the water, and we can do other sea creatures too. Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it was eaten by a jellyfish, jellyfish, gliding through the water. Jellyfish, jellyfish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it was eaten by a octopus, octopus, swimming through the water. Octopus, octopus, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it was eaten eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale, floating through the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, gulp, 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 burp. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, and we do have one more song, and this is all fishies in the ocean. It's a bit of a jumping song, so we can jump up a little bit, but I might not jump too much, or else I'll jump right out of the camera. Ready? Fishies in the ocean, fishies in the sea. We all jump up on the count of three. One, two, three, jump! Did you jump? Oh, yay! Let's try that one again. Fishies in the ocean, fishies in the sea. We all jump up on the count of three. One, two, three, and jump! <laughs> and you can do other animals too. We can do dolphins in the ocean, dolphins in the sea. We all jump up on the count of three. One, oh, one, two, three, and jump! <laughs> I'm sure you guys are very good jumpers. Well done. All right. I think that's going to be it for our story time today. Thank you so much for joining me for reading about the hermit crab and singing about the ocean creatures that we see. Maybe you'll find some great creatures along your summer in, ta in your time. So let's do a little goodbye song now. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.